I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 53.1 Questioner, I would first like to ask what is the instrument's condition and then ask two questions for her. She would like to know if she can now do one exercise period per day, and also is the pain she feels prior to doing a session due to an Orion attack. Answer, I am Ra. The instrument's condition is as previously stated. In answer to the question of exercise, now that the intensive period is over, this instrument may, if it chooses, exercise one period rather than two. In scanning this instrument's physical complex distortions we find the current period of exercise at the limit of this instrument's strength. This is well in the long run due to a cumulative building up of the vital energies. In the short run it is wearying to this entity. Thus we suggest the entity be aware of our previous admonitions regarding other aids to appropriate bodily distortions. In answer to the second query we may say that the physical complex difficulties prior to contact with our social memory complex are due to the action of the subconscious will of the instrument. This will is extremely strong and requires the mind, body, spirit complex to reserve all available physical and vital energies for the contact. Thus the discomforts are experienced due to the dramatic distortion towards physical weakness while this energy is diverted. The entity is, it may be noted, also under psychic attack, and this intensifies pre-existing conditions and is responsible for the cramping and the dizziness as well as mind complex distortions. Question 53.2 Questioner, thank you. I would like to know if, name, may attend one of these sessions in the very near future? Answer, I am Ra. The mind, body, spirit complex, name, belongs with this group in the spirit and is welcome. You may request that special meditative periods be set aside until the entity sits with this working. We might suggest that a photograph of the one known as name be sent to this entity with his writing upon it indicating love and light. This held while meditating will bring the entity into peaceful harmony with each of you so that there be no extraneous waste of energy while greetings are exchanged between two entities, both of whom have a distortion towards solitude and shyness, as you would call it. The same might be done with a photograph of the entity, name, for the one known as, name. Question 53.3 Questioner, thank you. During my trip to Lamy certain things became apparent to me with respect to dissemination of the first book of the law of one to those who have had experiences with Ufos and other wanderers, and I will have to ask some questions now that I may have to include in book one to eliminate a misunderstanding that I am perceiving as a possibility in book one. Therefore, these questions, although for the most part transient, are aimed at eliminating certain distortions with respect to the understanding of the material in Book 1. I hope that I am using the correct approach here. You may not be able to answer some of them, but that's alright. We'll just go on to others then if you can't answer the ones I ask. First I will ask if you could tell me the affiliation of the entities who contacted Betty Andreas N. Answer, I am Ra. This query is marginal. We will make the concession towards information with some loss of polarity due to free will being abridged. We request that questions of this nature be kept to a minimum. The entities in this and some other vividly remembered cases are those who, feeling the need to plant confederation imagery in such a way as not to abrogate free will use the symbols of death, resurrection, love, and peace as a means of creating, upon the thought level, the time-space illusion of a systematic train of events which give the message of love and hope. This type of contact is chosen by careful consideration of confederation members which are contacting an entity of like home vibration, if you will. This project then goes before the Council of Saturn and, if approved, is completed. The characteristics of this type of contact include the non-painful nature of thoughts experienced and the message content which speaks not of doom but of the new dawning age. Question 53.4 Questioner, 
It is not necessary that I include the information that you just gave in the book to accomplish my purpose. In order to save your polarity, shall we say, I can keep that as private material if you wish. Do you wish for me to keep it unpublished? Answer, I am Ra. That which we offer you is freely given and subject only to your discretion. Question 53.5 Questioner, I thought you would say that. In that case can you tell me anything of the blue book mentioned by Betty Andreasen in that case? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 53.6 Questioner, thank you. Can you tell me of the various techniques used by the service to others positively oriented confederation contacts with the people of this planet, the various forms and techniques of making contact? Answer, I am Ra. We could. Question 53.7 Questioner, would you do this please? Answer, I am Ra. The most efficient mode of contact is that which you experience at this space-time. The infringement upon free will is greatly undesired. Therefore, those entities which are wanderers upon your plane of illusion will be the only subjects for the thought projections which make up the so-called closing counters and meetings between positively oriented social memory complexes and wanderers. Question 53.8 Questioner could you give me an example of one of these meetings between a social memory complex and a wanderer as to what the wanderer would experience? Answer, I am Ra. One such example of which you are familiar is that of the one known as Mori's. One, in this case the previous contact which other entities in this empty circle of friends experienced was negatively oriented. However, you will recall that the entity, Morris, was impervious to this contact and could not see, with the physical optical apparatus, this contact. However, the inner voice alerted the one known as Morris to go by itself to another place and there an entity with the thought form shape and appearance of the other contact appeared and gazed at this entity, thus awakening in it the desire to seek the truth of this occurrence and of the experiences of its incarnation in general. The feeling of being awakened or activated is the goal of this type of contact. The duration and imagery used varies depending upon the subconscious expectations of the wanderer which is experiencing this opportunity for activation. 1. This refers to case number 1 in Secrets of the UFO, by D. T. Elkins with Carla L. Rueckert, Louisville, Chi. LL Research, 1976, p. 10-11. Question 53.9. Questioner, in a close encounter by a confederation type of craft I am assuming that this close encounter is with a thought form type of craft. Have wanderers within the past few years had close encounters with landed thought form type of craft? Answer, I am Ra. This has occurred although it is much less common than the Orion type of so-called close encounter. We may note that in a universe of unending unity the concept of a close encounter is humorous, for are not all encounters of a nature of self with self? Therefore, how can any encounter be less than very, very close? Question 53.10 Questioner, well, talking about this type of encounter of self to self, have any wanderers of a positive polarization ever had a so-called close encounter with the Orion or negatively oriented polarization? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. 